It is 10.30 and I just woke up. I don't know what happened. I must have not set my alarm or I did set it and I was just fully sleep shutting it off. But I have not slept in this late in so long. And it's like kind of disorienting me because of how late it is. It's 10.30. Oh my gosh. Like, I went to bed at a normal time. I just, I'm not a morning person. So, like, I would naturally sleep very late if I never set an alarm. Oh my gosh. I need my naturally late to not be 10.30 because that is too late. <laughs> also, I don't know how much you can actually see because I'm sitting on the stairwell putting shoes on so I can take Lambo for his walk that we usually take at like 8.30. Oy vey. Okay, well, just wanted to document this because the Animal Crossing update came out yesterday and I'm assuming the majority of you don't play Animal Crossing with me. So essentially there was a really, really, really big update scheduled to come out today, like tonight, and about 9.30 p.m. last night, everybody on Animal Crossing internet starts freaking out because it went live, yes, a day early. So I was playing that, but I still came up and went to bed when I normally go to bed. So I don't know why I forgot to set my alarm because like I have zero recollection of shutting it off, zero. So it, I must not have shut it off. I'm so frustrated with myself. Luca, you cannot come with us. I'm sorry, kitten. Oh my. Got my unwitch that I made again that I've been having for lunch like every single day and it's delicious. And Lambo is currently eating his lunch. Yo, good boy. Good boy, Lambo, you got it. Good boy. And I put about, eh, I'd say about a third of it in his little brain teaser food game puzzle thing. And he's currently, he just finished the half that was in his bowl. So now he was going at this. He is, I think, remembering it. I put half of them on the easy way to open it and half of them on the more difficult way to open it. You can do it, puppy. Good boy. You can do it. You got to work for your food sometimes. You can do it. Go get your lunch. Go get it. Go get it, Lambo. Go get your lunch. Go get it. Get your lunch. Yes. No, not, not quite too far. Back up. Okay, well, he'll get there eventually. You got one already. You got one right away. Come on, you can do it. Good boy! Look at how easy that was! Good boy! Apparently he's decided he's too weak to finish getting his food. <laughs> Hello! So I am wanting to do something a little different for December. I have been thinking the last few years actually about doing Vlogmas, which if you don't watch a lot of YouTube, you probably have no idea what that is. Basically a lot of different creators on YouTube will post during the month of December, will post videos every single day leading up to Christmas. Usually these are all vlog style videos, very much a day in my life, different things that they're doing, more casual style videos. In all honesty, a big reason creators do this is because ad revenue is higher during the month of December. So the more videos they make, the more ads they can put on the videos, the more money they can make. I can't make money on my videos, so that's not the reason I'm doing this. <laughs> But I have been thinking about doing this for the last couple of years because one, I think it would be a really fun challenge to try to do. I did try vlogging every single day for a solid week 
way back when I first started my channel. My husband and I went to Alabama to visit some family and I decided I was going to film a video every single day and post it the very next day of like everything we were doing. And it was a lot of fun. It was also exhausting because I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Since then I have not tried doing that and I've stuck to like a weekly schedule, like one or two videos a week. But I think for this year, this December, I want to film like a vlogmas and I'm doing it not the way most creators I think do it when they do the vlog style videos where they will film one day and then that day, that night, edit it so it can be posted the very next day. I'm probably not gonna do that because I have a lot of other responsibilities than just filming and editing these videos. So as I am recording this clip, it is only November 12th and I plan to start recording videos for Vlogmas pretty soon here so I can have a video posted December 1st through the 25th without breaking my neck and my back trying to edit and film like crazy every single one of those days. So I am going to post a video every single day, but I'm not going to be filming the video every single day prior, if that makes sense. I will say I do have a goal with this. Like I am at currently 476 subscribers. I would love to be able to get that number to 500 before the end of the year. And I think Vlogmas is a really good way to try to help make that happen. And so that 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 is part of the reason that I am doing this is because I really want to try to get that number higher. Because once I hit 500, that is the halfway point to 1,000, which is significant on YouTube because 1,000 subscribers is one of the milestones you need to monetize. There's other milestones like watch time. I need 4,000 watch hours within a 12 month period to also monetize. So, but that, I think once I get the 1,000 subscribers, I will get that as well. I'm fairly confident. So that part I'm not so worried about, but the 1,000 subscribers is hard. That's why I'm hoping that this Vlogmas would really help like get my channel maybe suggested more to people. So I can hopefully get to at least 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I'd really like to start 2022 off with over 500 subscribers. If you watch my videos and you enjoy watching them and you think, yeah, I want to support this person. I may not watch every single video, but I want to support them. Please subscribe. I don't ask that in most of my videos because I'm, I figure if you want to subscribe, you're going to. If you don't, you're not. But this is me like asking. If you want to support me, subscribe. If you don't know how to, right below this video, I think it's going to be off to the side right there, there is a red button that says subscribe. If you click that, it will turn gray and it will say subscribed. If that button is red, please click it. It would really, really help me out. And then when you watch a video, leave a comment. It could be anything as simple as, hey, I'm here, how are you, to, oh, this part of the video was fun to a whole like dissertation on a thought you had. I don't care, but interacting with the video is very, very helpful. So that is what I'm hoping to do for this whole vlogmas. I currently am working on getting videos finished editing for the rest of November, and then I'm going to be make, putting this one somewhere in there. I currently have no idea what my schedule <laughs> looks like as a bit all over the place right now as far as videos go. You can also expect during Vlogmas to see videos from my mom because she is also recording vlogs and doing different things and she has a bunch of ideas of things she wants to do. So for me to be able to have like kind of a day off, I'll probably be putting some of her videos as like almost standalone videos during December as well. So make sure to check out those and make sure to leave nice comments on those because she is new at this and don't be mean to her or I will block you. It's really that simple. So, <laughs> so I think that's my plan moving forward. And then also I will probably be taking like the first week or two weeks of January off to recuperate because this is still gonna be a lot of work. I think that's about it. I don't know. 
I might refilm all of this entirely. I have no idea, but that's what I'm wanting to do. So if you want to subscribe, please do. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, at least leave a comment, like a nice-ish comment, please. And that's about it.